Guess what, motherfucker? Hello, everybody. It's me, Jack Off Costly. Anyway, I doubt I'll get a whole lot of views on this. I'm not looking for views or anything of that nature, honestly. But I just want to talk to y'all a little bit. Uh, the reason why is because there's sometimes, uh, there's some moments where people just need to reach out and make themselves known, try to make you feel bad. That ain't gonna work on me. In the end run, uh, some of y'all don't know anything about me, truly. You don't know jack shit about me. You don't understand my channel. So, let me just kind of lay out everything for y'all. I'll make this one video one time and uh, hopefully y'all understand who I am and what I'm about. Maybe it'll change your mind, maybe it won't. Either way, here we go. So, 2003 I enlisted in the U.S. Army. Went through a lot of stuff and uh, I, don't, I don't like to talk too much about it because it brings up my PTSD and I had a lot of things that happened there. One I will explain is I had a bad day in 2009. I lost my spleen that day. I, you can see, barely see it, but I got shrapnel on my hand. It still fucks with my fingers sometimes in this hand. Uh, my ring finger can't move it sometimes, stuff like that. Uh, I've got an incision from the top of my, it's starting on right about here, that goes to the top of my left leg. Uh, doctors had to rip me open. Uh, pull out my spleen. I've got barely about the tip of my pinky left of it. Uh, part of my lung on this side right here has been collapsed. Uh, it was it, it was just a bad day. I'll just put it that way. Uh, I supposedly bled out and was pronounced dead for Thing they said about 30 seconds or more uh, somehow my heart kicked back on and uh, I'm here and alive bad part is also in uh, 2005 I had a son and uh, about four or five months into it he uh, if I, five months in one day five months and one day he passed away I have dealt with that stress all my life uh, those things I had my other son Alex Alexander who passed away and then my son Asher he was born 28 weeks so he was way premature the kid y'all saw in some of my community posts he's my son Asher he, uh, he put me through some of the troubles and you know, my PTSD kicked in even heavier after that because of seeing how small and frail he was and seeing some of the other similarities that my previous son had. I was afraid I was going to lose him. So ever since then, my, my own personal mind and everything else has completely flopped, changed. Uh, and I'm not trying to use that as any kind of excuse for anything I've done in the past or any of my problems I have or things I might do in the future. I'd never try to use that as an excuse. Uh, never use my PTSD as an excuse. I just, it's something I have to live with. Um, I've gone through two marriages. One, because the first one gambled and did a lot of drugs. I left her. I couldn't deal with the, the drugs and other stuff. I've never touched a drug in my entire life. I won't ever touch a drug in my entire life. Uh, Second one kind of uh, threw me down on for a loop. Uh, made me feel as if I was uh, just a money machine. And believe me, I've made tons of money. I, I can make money in the, my profession in a heartbeat. Uh, but in the long run, my channel of what I do here for you guys is uh, just a, a way for me to get out some things and let uh, 
kind of help out other people because that's what I am. I've always been called, uh, even through all the shit I've gone through in my entire life, I've always been called a giant teddy bear. I'm that nice guy who everybody thinks can be a hard ass at some times and uh, piss people off that uh, they don't realize that sometimes I'm I'm actually that guy who will li literally lend you the shirt off my back. Like, if you guys want this shirt, uh, this Rat Fink one, sorry, you're not going to get that one. Uh, <laughs> that's the only ones I don't give up is Rat Fink. I love Rat Fink. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'd give you the shirt off my back if it meant you'd be able to stay warm or keep you dry or just to keep you going. That's the type of person I am. I've always been that type of person. Uh, and may I, I may have been looked at or other things in a different way and maybe I have made y'all think of me in a different way or something like that. If so, it is what it is. I can't change your mind, can't change your opinion. You're going to have that view of me of how you think of me so either way with that being said that's the shit I've gone through in my entire life uh, my channel is again it's going to be how I view things and how I want to express myself I ask you guys in many of my posts uh, community posts and other things of what you guys would like to see what you would want and then I take that with my channel and try to put it out there so any game I play any developers that were to see my content <clears throat> will take that as an into consideration because what you guys want is also what I want because you guys voted for that someone's moving out from beside me uh, and that's how I would prefer it to be. I'm not going to voice my own personal opinion on something without confronting you guys because I believe in the power of the people. I believe that if you guys want something of a certain way, I'm going to ask you guys. Now, I'm not going to say, hey, something like this needs to happen, blah, 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 on my own personal opinion. No. Now, when it comes to other content creators, and stuff like that if I see something out there like I've said before if I see a build or something like that especially with the vision if I see that hey it does not meet up to par or they're using something that is complete and utter bullshit I'm gonna call that out because again it's not what's best for you guys you guys don't understand that there are people out here who play this game who want to try to enjoy this game and they go into a lobby or they go play a legendary and they're brand spanking new thinking that this build that they got from another YouTube content creator is going to be great. It's going to work phenomenally. And it ends up falling short because the people who see it coming in, they know it's garbage. They can tell it's not going to help them and they get booted. So how does that help that new player or that other player who thought that this was a great build? who keeps getting booted, how is that beneficial for that person? So I'm going to call out that bullshit that that content creator gave that person and try to rectify it by giving that person the better build. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that every single time. I don't care if it ruffles up some of these content creators' feathers or your feathers or whatever because I want that person to realize that they have someone who has their back to give them the good thing so they can go out there and not get kicked and enjoy the game because there are toxic people out here who will do that they'll see oh my god this is this content creators build screw that no -uh, i know it's not gonna work and they just boot them instantly you'd be surprised there's been times where i want to do it the same but i give that person the leniency of the doubt because i see maybe he doesn't have enough points maybe he doesn't have enough time in the game and he needs that good gear. So I'll take him through the legendary, no cares, and I'll drop him stuff at the end. Because I want to help that guy. I'll even sit there and tell my other clan mates, hey guys, leave this for this guy. He needs that. Let him have that. You can go ask some of these other guys. There's other content creators I've played with. There's people who will probably come into this chat right here and say, he's done this. Because i played with some of these guys. Even some of these guys who comment in here, I play with them. And they know that's what I do. 
because I want you guys to have the best experience in life, in games, in everything. So, again, that's some of the shit I've gone through. That's my life. And this is what I plan on doing in 2023 is helping you guys out the best I can. We're going to see here pretty soon what the division and some of these other games I'm playing, what they're going through. I've been working more than anything else. I'm going to try to get back into it because I see that I've got some spare time. So I'm going to start trying to get back into some games, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully you guys understand. If you don't, sorry, at least I tried. And for anybody else who wants to say anything negative or something like that about my personal life, go ahead. It's not going to bother me, but all I'm going to say is fuck you. Goodbye.